Hello and welcome. Can I just start by saying I hope you and your family are all keeping well during this difficult time. My name is Mr Bourne, I'm the Head of Year and I teach Geography here at the Academy. My name is Mrs Rappel and I'll be your Student Manager. We both work within the pastoral team at the Head of Academy. Which means we'll be working closely with you from day one to ensure that you have a smooth transition to the school. And throughout the year with any safeguarding and attendance and behaviour issues. We hope you enjoy the tour. Thank you. Hello, my name is Marie and I'll be going into my final year at the Heritage Academy. It feels like only yesterday I was in your position. Your school day being a little bit different and so putting in procedures to keep all safe. However, the normal school day starts at 8.45. The first part of the day is tutor time. This is 20 minutes where you get prepared for the day. Your tutor can help you and you also have, once a week have an assembly. The assembly tells you about all the opportunities available and what's happening coming in the school. If you want to make a difference within the school, you can always join the stars. This is our version of school council. The first lesson of the day can be anything from PE to performing arts to English. We call the first lesson period one. There are six periods in the day and they are each 50 minutes long. After period two, you have a break. At break, you can play table tennis, buy food and socialise with your friends. After break, you have periods three and four. After three and four, you have lunch. Once you've finished your lunch break, it's five, six and then home. That's assuming you don't have any after school clubs or detentions. But you won't be getting any of them, will you? Great, let's go. Wait, don't forget to wash your hands. Hello, my name is Jamie. I'm just finishing your seven and you can tell that because I'm wearing a green lanyard, which you lot will be wearing next year. Um, in year seven, you'll be learning a variety of different topics such as English, and which are all the classrooms are on this corridor on the second floor. My English teacher is Mr. Bolton. Let's go meet the Head of English, Mrs Hanlon. Hello Year 7, I'm Mrs Hanlon, I'm Head of English at the Academy. We're very much looking forward to meeting you in September. I'd just like to tell you a little bit about the kind of work that you'll do in English here at the Academy. So we structure the whole of Year 7 around the theme of telling stories and within that you'll do different units related to different types of story. So we study autobiography, we do gothic literature like Frankenstein and Dracula, a Shakespeare play, poetry that tells us stories and we also look at a non-fiction unit of stories on newspapers and magazines with the chance to be like a journalist. Speaking of stories, what we'd like you to think about over the summer is reading and hopefully you can read as much as you can. You'll find on our website a copy of the reading list split into different categories and what we'd like you to do is try to challenge yourself to read at least one book from each category and if you look right at the end of the reading list you will also find a book review sheet and we'd love it if you could fill in a book review on some of the reading you've done over the summer and bring it in for us in September. Very much looking forward to meeting you in September year seven. Another one of our core subjects is maths and all the maths classrooms can be found on this corridor on the first floor. Let's go and meet some of the maths teachers. This is Mr Boy who will be teaching you in year 7 and this is Miss King who will be trying to try our best to solve the Rubik's Cube. Hi guys, I'm Mr Bory. I'll be taking you next year for maths. Some of the stuff you'll be covering in numbers will be fractions, decimals, percentages. We'll be doing algebra as well, which will be covering expanding brackets, solving equations and factorising, ratio and proportion, geometry, shapes, area, perimeter, statistics involving mode, med median and range, and computing, which you'll be doing with another teacher. How's Miss King getting on? And over the summer, grab yourselves a Rubik's Cube and try and solve it yourself.
Now on to science. We don't call them science classrooms, we call them science labs, where health and, health and safety is really important. That's why you'll need these. Let's go and meet some of the science teacher. Hi guys, I'm Miss Falconer. Welcome to the science department. I'm uh, Mrs Monaghan, assisting Miss Falconer today. And what you're going to be learning when you come in September is a variety of things in science. We do biology, where we look at cells and plants. We do chemistry, we've got chemical reactions. And physics, where you learn all about electricity and space. So, what have we got here today, Miss Monaghan? Well, when you come and join us, you'll be doing things like this and finding out why it happens. You'll also be using these things here and how to be safe in the lab. This is a Bunsen burner. And then you'll understand why this happens. And then this happens. And finally, what causes this? So for your summer challenge, we're asking you to find out about animal cells and we'd like you to make a model or draw a picture or a diagram of an animal cell and bring it in for your science teacher in September for lots of lovely rewards. See you then. Bye. One of my favourite things at the Hereford Academy is all the sports that we do. Here we are in the DTF, which is our dry training facility. Let's go speak to the head of PE, Mr Ball. Hi, my name is Mr Ball I'm the head of PE here at Harefield Academy. I'm looking so forward to seeing you guys in September. I'm just going to show you and introduce a few different sports that you can do. First of all, we do things like basketball, athletics, Tennis, netball, volleyball, cricket, rugby, table tennis, and we do other sports in our extra curriculum, like for example, off ice skating. We do other things like trampolining and a vast array of different sports we can then do here at the academy. Looking forward to seeing you in September. Hi, my name is Houston and I'm in year seven. I'm here in the canteen. Every day we have a 40 minute lunch, which is a great time to get some food, play some table tennis. Or you could come to the ILC to catch up with some more work or play some board games. Checkmate. A nice day, you just you can come out and enjoy the sun. Hello, I'm Mrs Gardner, I teach RE in philosophy and I'm going to talk to you about our wonderful reward system we have here at the Hereford Academy. So you'll see in all your classrooms when you arrive that we have our merits always displayed on the board. We really love to promote positive attitudes to learning. So in the classroom, if you give an excellent response, you can receive a reward for excellent oral response. Say you've done a fantastic piece of homework, again, we we'll give you a merit and you can receive that on class charts. It's not just in the classroom though that we like to reward positivity. We focus on your behaviour and your values and the way that you conduct yourself around the school. What this might mean is that if you're along the corridor, say you hold the door open for somebody, we can give you a reward for kindness or respect and again, you can check that on class charts. Also, we have things like Student of the Week. Say you've worked exceptionally hard in a particular subject, your teachers will recognise that and make sure that you receive the praise that you deserve. We also have weekly clean slates 
where if you've come to school on time every day with the right equipment, you're here, you're learning, you're promoting those values, your tutor will award you five merits for a clean slate. We also do have our ladder of consequence where we have our C1, C2, C3, but you don't need to know about that now. You'll look at that in September. Easy way to keep track on all of this is through class charts. You can get that on your phone, on your home computer, and you can check your rewards and sanctions every day. If you need anything else, just ask your form tutor in September. Hello, my name is Mrs Carey and I'd like to speak to you a little bit about homework here at the Harefield Academy. You'll see on the screen some exemplar Key Stage 3 Geography homework which will show you the great pride that our students take in producing fantastic work both within and outside of the classroom. Class Charts is our platform online which we use for homework and indeed behaviour and rewards. Both homework and behaviour can be tracked on class charts. Welcome, come through. Hello, so hopefully I'm talking to all our new year six students waiting to join us in year seven. My name is Miss Hurtado and I am the head teacher at the Harefield Academy. Um, I'm very proud to be a head teacher at this fantastic school. I hope you've all been keeping well and working hard in your final term of school, whether that's been a face-to-face -face experience or working from home. I'm sure you found it a strange way to complete the final few weeks of your primary school experience before heading to secondary school, um, but I hope that hasn't affected your excitement about this important transition and the important process of joining us here at the Harefield Academy. While it's been disappointing for us not to be able to see you face to face as many times as we would have liked through our usual transition activities, um, including Transition Day. We're no less enthused about or excited about you coming to join us at the Harefield Academy in September and to help you settle in. We're happy that we are able to carry on with one of our planned events which is our summer camp from the 10th to the 24th of August. We really hope you're going to be able to come and join us at that particular transition activity which can go ahead. It's an opportunity for you to meet some of your teachers from September and certainly to meet some of the other students who are going to be in your year group at the Harefield Academy. You'll also be able to enjoy some practical, um, creative and sporting activities during those two weeks and hopefully uh, have a little bit of social time that you may have missed in recent months. Whilst it's been an unusual few months and not typical of our common routines in school, it remains a really, really exciting time to join the Harefield Academy community as a school that continues to get better and better and more successful every year. We're really happy that you're going to be part of that future successful journey. We want all of our students to be happy, to strive for excellence, to model kindness, resilience, perseverance and determination and to always be respectful of others. We've been working really hard to ensure that the partial closure of our school during lock lockdown doesn't have a negative impact on any of our students, but particularly you, our newest students. I hope you've heard, uh, I hope you've enjoyed hearing from Mr Bourne as well as other staff during this video to try and understand a little bit more about the kinds of activities that take place in a normal working week at the Harefield Academy and that that has helped you to feel part of our community already. For now, it just remains for me to wish you a really happy and healthy summer holiday and to say once more how excited we all are about meeting you properly in September, if not before that, during our summer camp. Have a great summer, take care and see you soon. We hope you've enjoyed our Transition Day vlog and are excited as we are for September. If you have any questions or would like a follow-up conversation, please contact myself, Mr Bourne, via my email address, rbourne at thehairfieldacademy.org. As you can imagine, we've been working hard to ensure the school environment is COVID secure and we have robust plans in place to ensure the full attendance daily from all of our students. We have adapted the timings of our day as per government direction to allow for staggered start and finish times, smooth transitions between lessons and also for staggered break times. 
This is the best way to protect your children from risks while commuting to school and during the periods where they are not in the classroom. We hope it is helpful that we've been able to manage a full return to school for all students with only two separate start and end times. For Year 7 students, Period 1 will start at 8.15am and it is advisable for students to be in school at least five minutes before so that they can wash their hands and go to their locker if they need to. There will be a six period day with a 20 minute break at 9.45am and a lunch slot of 25 minutes at 11.35am. Period 6 finishes at 1.30 and there will be a 45 minute slot for after school detentions, after school catch ups and extracurricular activities. We will be writing to you soon to confirm the arrangements for the first day of term in September, along with all of these revised timings of the school day. See you soon.